Hey guys, welcome to Mrs. G's Sewing Space. This is going to be the final video in the Kiss Class Purse Bag Frames videos, the tutorials. This video is going to show you how to draft your own simple bag using the frame to draft the pattern from and then just how to put it all together. But I just wanted to sit here and take this moment to talk to you guys about the Kiss Class Frames. They're super simple to put together, especially if you have a sew-in frame, but they're not the best that I've ever done. Every time I make one, I think they're adorable and there are a lot of people out there who can make them who are so much better than I make them. They're just super cute and adorable and I love them and then I try to do my own and I know part of it's my fabric choices because I'm using what I have here at home, but I don't, I just, they're just not as nice as some other people. You know, sometimes you have your thing, it's like you're really good at making bags but you're not so good at making clothes. Or you're really good at making clothes and you're not so good at making bags. And that's okay. I just wanted to let you guys know that. You don't have to worry about being a perfectionist and you don't have to worry about getting it right the first time. It takes loads of practice and even after my 20 plus years of sewing, even practice doesn't help sometimes. And, and I know what I'm doing. I know exactly. It's like knowing the theory of doing something and then when you put it into practice, yeah, uh, it just it just doesn't always work out. But I just wanted to let you guys know that. And here in the background are all the purses that I've made throughout these videos. Some as practice, some as uh, posts up on Instagram, and some just because I'm actually showing you how to do this. I did have one thing, a tip. One tip. When you make your bag, this is the wrong one. When you make your bag, make sure you interface. You use something to stiffen up fabric that is soft. See this one? This one is really soft and kind of flowy and it just doesn't, it doesn't do anything. I personally like bags that are a little stiffer. That way they can, they hold what you want to hold and you can dig around in them and they're okay. They're still good. They can withstand whatever it is that you put them through. But the little wimpy bags, Little wimpy bags are not going to withstand all that much if you don't give it some strength by adding interfacing or something. I mean, you can still use them. I mean, there's nothing wrong with using them. I'll probably still use this one. I'm just saying I would prefer something a little bit stiffer and stronger. So if you use something softer that has a little more flex that's not so stiff, make sure you use some interfacing for it. Anyways, we're going to get on to the video. Also, this video will probably have a lot of music and I'm just going to put my notes in as we go because my kids are in the background. They're still at home. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the other side.
of everything like I said this is gonna be the last kiss class purse video for a while as much as I enjoy making them and I'm probably gonna make a couple more in my free time or maybe for Christmas or something I won't be videotaping it but I might put pictures up on Instagram when I'm done as always subscribe if you subscribe and share this video I would appreciate it you sharing the video helps support my channel hit the notification bell and click all notifications so you can get everything that I put up whenever it comes up and I'm trying to keep a schedule trying to keep on track and I hope you guys enjoyed the video as always if you have any questions leave them down below and I'll see you in the next video